I do love VR. It's just that it's so new. It's just such a such a cool concept that I'm really not used to being immersed in. And that's what it is. It's immersive. I think VR is just a gimmick. For example, uh, they just announced that Skyrim is on VR, but I really don't see myself playing 200 hours of VR like I did when I played Skyrim for the first time. When I just want to be in my undies, just sitting down, grabbing a controller, and you know, be relaxed. I think there's definitely learning involved. There has to be learning involved. And I believe it's the, the game itself has to be made for VR. For us, if we were developing a VR title, we would do from the ground up. But I'm really excited that like the big players are kind of getting involved and really putting some money behind it. Taking people through that progression of teaching them the different levels of VR, this is seated, this is standing, this is room scale, and then also teaching them why they need to put a headset on, why they need to put a Vive on, why they need to put goggles on, and, and why that's valuable. Those are all things that we actually have to overcome. Because no one really knows if it's just, if VR's a bubble, if it's gonna last, it's hard to say. I really feel like if you wanna do VR, you have to be hunted and committed. You, you can't, you can't half-ass it. VR is really interesting, and we're keeping our eye on VR. We don't have anything to announce today. The translation for that is we're almost definitely working on VR. Just based on my experience, that's what he meant to say. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Any first-person shooter, I think, could be really fun in VR because that's some of the um, shooters I played in VR. That's the way that genre is meant to be played as. You know, not with the controller, but like with you moving and crouching in the space. Oh, I think a VR wrestling game, that will be kind of fun. And I'm not saying just because I'm a pro wrestler, grabbing the guy and do the body slam, or trying to climb to the third rope and maybe do a, a splash. That would be kind of fun. But maybe if they do it right in VR, like a Dragon Ball game, or yeah, Street Fighter or Mortal Kombat game, like a fighting game, I think that would be, that would be pretty cool. But we are also seeing massive growth in the non-game space, in the enterprise space. But in truth, the game space is teaching the non-game space how to do this, how to create, how to solve these problems. I think uh, gaming is like the, the guinea pig of VR, where they are going to make the experiments, where the early adopters of VR will be gamers. Yeah, well, I think, funnily enough, I believe the, the real push for VR actually isn't going to be gaming. It is actually going to be stuff like medical or that kind of experience where like someone can train to be a doctor in VR. We have actually seen cardio, you know, surgeons working with game devs to create some of the medical applications that they've actually developed. One of the big home improvement manufacturing, you know, companies has got a, a bunch of ex-Call of Duty game devs teaching people how to do tile work in VR. I think it's starting to become more in the scene and I'm actually getting really excited. I'm pretty excited about it. I don't know that much about it, but what I've heard, it sounds pretty cool. It's, it's so amazing, like, having this experience. Like, you feel like you are in the game. Like, it's the best. I'd definitely give it a 10 out of 10.